I feel extremely, extremely protective of other people's stories. And particularly after having worked with, I would, my best guesstimate would be in excess of a thousand women with dementia. Um, and many, many men, but it's the women I probably remember more vividly because I could see everything kind of falling to bits around them because they held all the stories for other people, for everyone else. They were the ones who knew what sons were wanted for breakfast, uh, where the dry cleaning was, all those kinds of things, and then suddenly they weren't doing that anymore. So that really resonated with me, and I grew up part of the time with my grandmother in Nashville in Tennessee. And it's like Scotland, a very oral, very storytelling culture. And that's how everything gets handed down. So it's women sitting in kitchens on back porches, just talking and talking and talking and kind of um, setting the world to rights is what my gran would call it. Well, I'm just going to go to Maggie's. I'm going to set the world to rights.